isn't it? Okay, wow. Um, I, I love that. Just, you know, talking about feel good factor. Let's get some musical um, enlightenment with the feel good factor. So I think having that wonderful uh, talk there with Rudolph, let's bring in another wonderful chap, AKA Dark Persuader. Hello, Antona. Hello, sir. Hello. Sorry, I was muted there. I was still there. I was blown away. It's always a great, great moment to have Rudolph Walker, CBE. Uh, I'm still blown away. Do you know the part that really got me, though, Pam? Yeah. He said 12 years after, from his 70th birthday, 12 years ago. Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? I said he ain't changed. You know, <laughs> he looks younger than me. He looks younger than me. <laughs> Mr. Walker. A pleasure and honor. Thank you so much for giving us your time. It, yeah. It, well, Anthony, it, I'm gonna leave the, the, the ropes to you right now. I'm gonna swing out of here. I know we're gonna have an enjoyable time, you know, for the next next how many how many minutes? And I'm gonna leave it to you. I'm, I'm no signing out. See you later. Thank you very much, Pam. Okay, okay, guys. Thank you very much. I want to welcome everybody to the Entertainment Corner. We do have a couple of artists lined up today, so it's going to be very interesting. A bit of comedy. This will be a weekly sketch, so we will be going on with that. And then, as you know, from previous Music Corner to Entertainment Corner, we do have a few music videos to keep you going. Um, if I'm not mistaken, at this time, do we have flight available? Okay, I believe I know you to. Oh, he is there indeed. Flight, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, and you know, I'm good. Good, good, good. Thank you. I, I really want to put a huge thank you out to you because I, I, I know the time difference means <laughs> yeah, we've got yeah. an early one here. But yeah, then get my wake up well early. Yeah, man. <laughs> I do apologize. I do apologize, but that's the, that's the time difference, and we, I do really appreciate you being here with us. So. <sighs> What can I say? <laughs> the Magnum King 2017. No, the it's people's it, it, Magnum yeah. King, the man himself. Yeah. yeah. What can I say? From the age of five, you, you, you've known you've had this in you. Tell, tell us about your journey up until today. How, how, how can we go about that? Well, all right. It's a school. It started in a school, you know. Yeah. So, you know, you also beat the decks, the man. Make the sound, the man. Try to DJ and, and, and try to make fun. I have a little thing around. So, it was there, me discover, say, you know, I have the talent, but still never did know what it really was. Me just had to do it until the more I grow, you know, I grow into it more. So till it does manifest into what it is. You understand? So I just, it's just like a thing like it was born for something, you know, it already in, you know, you can't go around it. You just have to do it. And the people, them enjoy it every time. One time I do, I do so. I just continue. And, you know, it bring, it bring me right here. So right now. Big, big. No, and you know what? You you are right. Um, you it, you kept at it. You you went into Magnum. You, you, you as you said, not only the, the when I say when we say the people's Magnum King, it's because yeah, you, you came in, you won the last ever episode that they had of that, but you had the highest votes available. So that shows who yeah. you were to the people. The people, the people yeah. they really love love the way oh 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 I approach you know. Week in, week out, them like the way I approach everything, or my attire myself, or my organize my music, them, you understand the entertainment. It was like this a full package, you know, you give them a full package, like a one stop shop. So, whenever I'm getting ready to hit the stage, you could let us hear the crowd, just I get wild, just I wait for see when time I step on, you know, and when I step on in a, in a suit and my thing, and you know, come nearly performance, I just beer excitement, you know, just beer joy, beer love. You know, the that's reception. Big. That is big. I love it. So that that's the public perception. And I'm not saying the public and the crowd doesn't mean much. But yeah. then you have Bounty Killer, Beanie Man, yeah. and Robert Livingston calling you a lyrical genius. How does it feel to have those kind of people give that kind of respect to someone like yourself? Well, it is a giant, you know, because, you know, as, 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 as younger kids growing up, we used to look up to them, you know, and see them do it. And, and, us, and us, I wonder how them do it and how them look so comfortable in front of the crowd and in front of the camera. And, you know, it, it, it always amazes you. So now that's me step out into the forefront and then get to rub shoulder with them. You know, and see how them appreciate my talent and, and, and love what I do. And them saying to me that them get inspiration from what me the same way. And me remind them much of them, 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 them younger days. You understand? Because remember, these 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 guys are 
you know, in the game for a little a little while now. You understand me? I say so ear in, ear out, them did it. So when time them see like a young talent emerge, it's like them can see the trace of greatness on you from very, very early. You understand? So that I what excite them about me. Or me put my thing together, or me deliver, you know, my deportment. Everything is just a full package. You understand? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is it that is it and you have delivered that time and time again so i'm going to touch on what people can see right now is your name you've got flight and then people formerly knew you as blue girl so yeah. the name has changed what would you like to explain that to everyone to let them know that the, the motion and the reasoning behind that all right so what happened is that you know you have an ex artist in a jamaica with a with a similar sounding name like that it yeah. not spell the same but it sounds similar when you when you say it you know, so people tend to mix it up a lot. So like sometimes I enter like a big stage for go perform and like a like the MC when the MC is, is is going to introduce me to the crowd or introduce me to the stage. Them normally make mistake with the name and and I, and I call me the next artist name. You understand? So it always a throw me off. So when I go up on the stage, me have to address it and I say, yo, you know, and I put the name of Blue Go. You understand? And I, yeah, you understand? So, as me, I say, even on the radio, sometimes the RM, sometimes the disc jockeys, them playing the songs, and they must say, brand new one from the man called Blue Girl. But they make it sound like Blue Girl. So, you like people who hear this song, and I say, wait, that new bugle, you're nice, see, but so it's, it, it is like it, it kind of shadow me. It kind of shadow me in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a sense. So, me say, all right, then, me can just get up and just throw it away. But I forgot kind of just take flight to the name. Like, you know, I forgot put myself somewhere where from you hear the name or from you from, from you hear it, you know, you recognize me. You understand? So I just eat where I build into right now, where I dive into that right now. So I right. still attach the blue go to it. So anybody was still, you know, the people, the people them love me. So the people them will be not follow the thing up. You know, whenever them type in um, blue go. Them still see me pop up. You understand? Yeah. So me no last. Them me no last them. Cause me still attach the name to everything when I do see me. You right. understand? No, that's great. That's yeah. great. So I mean I can see you can see some busy. Oh, yeah. I can see you can see busy for out. Um, which is great. Absolutely love everything that you've been doing. You've done some stuff for Shawnee B, um, Chase yeah. the one over here so that has been amazing um at the moment yeah, there's a video just, at, the at, at, at the moment at the moment right now i have I have as um a song out known called uber with jugglers you know jugglers is another european you know big producer big. Yeah. okay just, is there a video for that one coming out soon um yes i think a lyric video because due to the whole lockdown you yeah. know i was yeah. supposed to i was supposed to go over i was supposed to come to to England and they were gonna come over from Germany. I was sort out the video, but due to the the whole virus and the whole pause on the flight, you know, no, pause on the plane. Head, this is what it's done to the yeah. world. This is what it's done to the world. While we're on the subject, what is it like in Jamaica for you guys with the the whole virus situation? Well, it affects everyone, you know. You know, you know. Some people take it different from some. You know, depending on on, on on how your life set up, you know, what you have to do on a day to day basis. Yeah. Um but, but for me, like because of music, like me still go studio, me still do what I do, but people still find it rough, you know, in their daily activities, you know, work, children not going to school. Well, as I say, it is not just in Jamaica, but it affects it affects us. Kind of Jamaican pitney, Jamaican pitney then rude, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know the you know the parents and well want them out of the house like just to get the day get get the fresh air and them just gone at school and come back you understand work has been difficult you know and you know some people taking the social distancing i'm um, serious and then some people just some place are still packed and clustered see me you understand yeah. like some people still not take it serious enough so it it is difficult it is well, if I mix mix feeling to it, mix reactions, everybody right. does. Yeah, yeah. but we'll we'll pass. We'll 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 add prayer. We will get through it. We'll pass it. You know. 
Amen. That is the one. That is the one. Um, what I'm going to do right now, because we are on a tight one, could you just put out all your social networks out there where you, everyone could contact you, and then I'm going to ask you for a small performance of it, if you can, if we can. All right, then. Well, um, what do you want me to type it in? Type it? Uh, if you could just say it out there, and you could type it in after, yeah. Okay, so you can find me on Instagram, flight underscore B-L-U-U-G-O. That's flight blue go. Flight underscore blue go. Um, on, on YouTube, it's F L Y G H T V E V O, and on um, Twitter, it's also Flight Blue Go, and then the same underscore, you understand? And yeah, on cool. Facebook, fl- Facebook, it's 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 Flight King, you understand? So it's it's it's, it's just bare flight, you yeah. know, from one flight to the next flight, you must reach all far away. <laughs> soar in the sky, soar in the skies. That's what we were like. Yeah, there we are, people. That's all the information there for flight. Um, we will be hoping to play tens a bit later on in our music section of the video. But before that, can we just ask for a small a cappella from yourself just to give the fans a taste of who flight is? All right, then. In the back of the cab. In the back of the taxi, in the back of the Uber, you let me feel so super, you woman. In the back of the cab, in the back of the taxi, in the back of the Uber, you let me feel so super. Taking me some places I've never been, not even the anything to let me in. It feels good when you touch my skin, yeah. I got caught up within Wonder Woman Justice League. Wonder what you have up your sleeve. Grab my pants, minus my brief. You have me in full custody. Showing them signs long time and them they ever know. Living on the edge is a way to go. Feel I'm in space and my brain afloat. Just let the action speak, don't say no more. How are we there? We there uptown, on a sidewalk. Everybody of you, where did I drive past? Granny couldn't see clear, she left her eye glass. But I and I lost my wallet. In the back of the cab. In the back of the taxi. In the back of the Uber. You let me feel so super, you woman. One twenty, I nine to five. Everything I work out, nine to five. Having the best time while I drive. Don't pre me, just go find a life. Living each day spontaneous. See that in the train or the plane we go. Yo, that one a nice. Feel like a paradise. When she a roll her waist like she have a dice. In the back of the cab. Yeah, man. So big. that is the Uber. Big, big, big. <laughs> now, look at that. I, I love the sound. I love the sound. And I know the lifestyle viewers will be loving that too. So, sir, thank you very much for your time. As I said, we will be trying to put your video on later on. If not, definitely next week. Um, yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure. Guys, check it out. You saw the details. Flight, aka Blue Girl, the last standing Magnum King. Sir, absolute pleasure to have had you, and we will definitely catch you again in the all future. All right, bless up yourself, and I hope to catch you all soon in England soon. All right, as soon 100%, as it can. 100. Stay safe. Thank all you very right. much. All right. Okay, so that was Flight, aka Blue Girl. Big stuff. Be sure you know you will be hearing a lot more from this gentleman on the entertainment corner and lifestyle in general. So keep it there. Okay, I did mention there will be a bit of comedy going on. Um, This is a familiar face, as well as a familiar surname, (laughs) to to the Lifestyle Show. At the moment, can I please introduce Miss Jade Marie Joseph? Yes, you can. Yay! Jade, Jade, how are you doing? I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Do you know what? Lifestyle's back. I'm happy. I'm smiling. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's Definitely. the one. Every, everything is great. And do you remember, I think the last time we were both on camera, we did have that hint of the new face of lifestyle. And now here it is, a weekly segment. So we we called it and it's happened. Big stuff. <laughs> Put it into the universe. Put it into the universe. That is the one. That is the one. So tell us, Jade, with all the accolades and acting and everything that you've done, how have you been coping in a time such as now? Well, um, so I've been kind of getting really interactive on social media. So that could be um, TikTok or just kind of like making my own little videos to put on Instagram and stuff. Um, so that's, that's that's helped quite a lot, actually. And I have still got work from like you yeah. know, different um, organisations and stuff. So it's, it's kind of been still very productive and uh, it's making the time kind of pass. Yeah. 
yeah yeah no Maybe. that is the way that is the way well done have you done one of those i saw a friend of mine had like some picture on his facebook excuse me have you had like a virtual casting or virtual reading of plays or anything like that has that come to you as yet the, um no for me it's still a lot of self tapes okay so it's still a lot yeah. of yeah recording at home and then sending it in and hoping you get the role or um i did do a voiceover thing the other day actually okay it was, was hard but i got there eventually um, and it's by a really big production company called uh, UK Fully Focused. So, yeah, I'm getting my little bits here and there. And uh, I'm just trying to just make myself more aware on, not aware, what's the word? More um, visible on social media. So <laughs> the video that you guys are going to see soon, I put that on Instagram. And um, we've got quite a good reception. And I just thought, you know, let me just play around with things and accents. And Cool. Actually, cool. there's another thing I'm going to do. Um, it's called an accent challenge. Okay. So five different accents, um, and it's for uh, a, a production company called Level TV. It's going to be hard. I'll, I'll try. I'm going to do a bit of Russian, you know, a bit of <laughs> Russian and stuff, and Australian, and American. Australian. And American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Sounds sounds fantastic. <laughs> No, brilliant. Um, so tell us a bit more about this sketch, how you came about doing it, how it's all come about, and then I'll allow you to introduce it. Okay, so um, what was I doing? I think I'm always dabbling with accents and I love doing like the black American accent and stuff. So I made a character around whatever. I was just sitting there and I was just thinking, oh, let me, obviously it has to do with isolation. So um, I'm the partner of someone I haven't seen him for ages. And I'm trying to call him. I'm not going to say too much, actually, but I'm trying to call and it's like, what's going on, you know? And it's just kind of, um, you know, there's couples that could be worried about what their partner's doing whilst they're not yeah, it's true, true. around them, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to put nothing out there, but, you know. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully the video doesn't put a bit of paranoia out there. This oh, you know, it might, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's over to you. I'll allow you to introduce it. Is there a name to the sketch or is it just... we? <laughs> Okay, um, so yeah, it's on my Instagram at jade underscore titch, and you'll find more little bits there. Um, and her name, I don't, she hasn't even got a name, but um, yeah, isolation just lockdown. isolation disaster. lockdown disaster. That's brilliant. <laughs> isolation lockdown disaster. Here it is. I'm missing my boo. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really missing him, and uh. He ain't even picking up my FaceTimes, but something like he think he got the Rona. But uh, he messaged me last night saying that he thinks he's Rona free. And, uh, you know, I thought I'm going to FaceTime him now. Okay, we're we going to try it again, okay? Okay. Raquisha! What? Put your coat on. For what? I said put your coat on. Girl. Don't ask me no quick. Put your coat on. Girl, you are crazy. Man, Where are we going? Are we going somewhere? Yeah, we going somewhere. We going We're somewhere right now. I don't care about no quarantine. He got me for the last time. I told you. I'm not the one. Get the keys. Get the keys, Quisha. You know what? Ain't no more quarantine. Unavailable now. Unavailable. Okay. I said not stop. today. Happy quarantine, y'all. Okay, I'm going to break it just one time. One time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to ask this question because I've never really had a chance to ask an actor directly right after. I remember the first time I'd done an interview and well, you were there actually and I had to see the edit and I walked out of the room. What is it like seeing yourself in full performance? <laughs> it's one of the worst things. It really is. When I see myself back on film, um, well, I think stage is the worst, but when I see myself back on film, it's just like, I cringe, I, I do that, I close my eyes, I just don't want no part of it. But I'm getting yeah. so used to it, actually. I, I watched a short film of me the other day with like loads of other people. And I'm like one of the, like, the main cast. And I actually watched it all the way through. Good, so well done. It's getting better. Well done, getting... well done. Okay, now that's great stuff. Well, Jade, we will be back next week, so we will talk more into the career and the journey of Miss Jade Marie Joseph. Until then, thank you very much. And thank you, Anthony. Yeah, keep sharing. Okay, see you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye.
Okay, right now that was Jade Marie Joseph. Thank you very much, Jade. Um, how can I say this? We've been honoured to have the first black football player for Chelsea. We've had Mr. Rudolph Walker. And now it's my honour to introduce one of a legendary UK group. And I'm talking Errol. <laughs> Errol from Imagination. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing really well. How are you doing, Anthony? I'm very well, Errol. Mr. Errol Kennedy, thank you so much. It's, it's great to have you back with us um, on Lifestyle. Um, yeah. How has it all been for yourself? How have you been in these trying times? Well, it's, well at the moment, it's a movie. That's all I can know because uh, I mean, it's just been one thing from the next, you know. Um, gosh, it's a long story. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'll, I'll just give you a little taster. Just after Christmas, we had a fire in the house. Uh, we had to move out for three weeks out of the house. Uh, builders were coming in. We were leading up to the corona. Uh, the corona. Um, it, uh, we didn't know if we were, were going to get in at the last minute. And at the same time, I was going, my wife was taking me backwards and forwards to the hospital because uh, um, they thought I had prostate cancer. So I had to take a biopsy test. And we were living out of, um, you know, um, of hotels and Airbnbs. And when you're doing medical stuff, there's nothing much better than being in your own home. And so we couldn't do that. So we're fighting to get back into the house with the builders. And finally, we, 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 we got in. We still haven't had all our clothes and furniture and stuff back. Um, so um, while we were getting the place together, my, um, oh, I have to say that I haven't got prostate cancer, by the way. They told me that I was fine. Yeah. So it's a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Um, <laughs> so uh, while we while we are uh, trying to get back in, we've got in and we, I was there doing little bits and pieces of the house. And then it was a Thursday night where everybody goes out on the balcony, cheering the NHS on. So my wife took a couple of bins and we were bang it on the balcony. Um, and then I said, oh, I've got my snare drum upstairs. Let me go and get that. So I grabbed that, put it on a stand, bashing away. And uh, the neighbors all got into uproar. And so then afterwards we, we thought, well, what else could we do? So my wife and I said, oh, wouldn't it be great if we did a 24-hour drumathon? Um, so um, I've got a little electronic pop practice kit at home. And um, I thought, well, yeah, maybe we could do it. So I got in touch with a few friends of mine to help do all the streaming and, uh, you know, all the technicalities. Uh, neighbor got us together with the Virgin um, Give to set up the charity. And... Uh, my wife was just like relentless getting all everything else together while we were talk, while we were getting all the technicalities together. So uh, we did, I drummed for 24 hours nonstop on my practice kit. My hands were swollen up, um, but we didn't have enough then. We said, okay, so what else could we do? So we said, um, wouldn't it be great if we, uh, oh, we raised quite a lot of money for, for the NHS at this okay. point. Um, so we said, uh, you know, my wife and myself were speaking and said, gosh, I'm sure there's something else we could do. So uh, we decided to do a drumathon. And it's extraordinary in these times, right, because planning a drum drumathon, we just had the idea, but what we didn't realise is how in-depth it is. Obviously, we're all in lockdown, so it's not you're not accessible to get all the equipment and all the gear, and you can't socialise with people. So, you know to ask a biggie of people to give up their time um, to, to get involved in this is, is, is like paramount. So we, we, you know, spoke to a few friends and drummers and said, look, we want, this is what we want to do. Um, this is how we'd like to do it. Can you help? And wow, it's amazing. We started off with like four drummers and uh, we got in touch with the district uh, Guinness Book of Records saying that we'd like to do a Guinness Book of Record as well to track what we were doing because it was extraordinary because nobody's ever done a, a lockdown rock down in 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 their house or in their studios at home. Some you know a lot of musicians have got their little studios in the back garden where they can't you know can practice and maybe do uh, streaming to uh, other places. So anyway, we uh, we sort of like organised that. We I've got a friend. Uh, 
two friends actually and they both got studios so we thought well if people could actually make it they could actually go to these other lockdown studios uh where they could actually um play um in a clear environment um totally clean um so we sort of like put all that together and uh friends came around us and uh um yeah and so that's what happened um and now we're so sort of like 10 days in non-stop day and night Every drum is doing 12 hour shifts. Um, it's been extraordinary. Um, the tenacity and the strength of everybody giving, you know, we're really what everybody's doing is doing uh, 12 hour shifts just like the NHS. Um, it, it's been extraordinary. We've had drummers streaming from Scotland all the way from, you know, from the South, Dartford, Basingstoke, all over, all over the country, Devon, you name it. And it's just been really extraordinary. We've got some extraordinary drummers as well that have played with uh, Peter Gabriel, uh, Stevie Wonder, Sister Sledge, The Feeling, The Kooks, some extraordinary well-known um, drummers out there have really given up their time to actually support an NHS. And you've got to think, one of the things that keep going, running around in my mind, my wife's had cancer, my mum's had cancer twice. I have, you know, I was, on the brink of of like a massive, you know, can you, can you imagine when somebody says to you, you've got cancer and it's in the prostate, it's a major shock. And um, that, as I say, it, it really, really, when you think about it, you think how lucky we are to be in the, the UK with an NHS yeah. that in walking, no matter what's happening and somebody will look after you, there's a lot of countries that you cannot do this to and, you know, um, but we are lucky to have that, and and this is what this is all showing our appreciation, and for people to really realise how lucky they are to have the NHS. So, with that said, um, we've we've now um, reached sort of like thirty thousand um, pounds, two hundred and fifty um, minutes. Um, uh, time um, that we've spent with all these drummers coming in, doing a relay. I mean, uh, in terms of putting their heart into it, one of the drummers um, almost lost his life um, three, you know, a month ago, collapsed in uh, in the street and had to be rushed to hospital. And that's Jose Joya, who's played with uh, Stevie Wonder, um, all, all sorts of people, but then when heard that this was happening, jumped in straight away, no second thoughts um, at all. So, you know, there's, there's all these drummers giving up all their time, contributing to the NHS, trying to make people aware how amazing and supportive we need to be. And it's great. Um, what well, the sad thing about it, it's been such a... a um, we call ourselves Octopus Production, my wife and myself, because we're having to deal with so many things. Yeah. Uh, I can give you little bits of stories <laughs> of things that have happened, but we're still here. We're on the last, today's the last day, um, at nine o'clock. You can go to imaginationband.co.uk, where if you log in now, you can see Gary O'Toole, who's playing us out. And at nine o'clock, we're going to have a big celebration. Uh, people want to join us and donate. That would be really good. Just join us and be a part of the whole thing. We're going to have a big dance out, um, percussion and house party going on all in line. Um, it's extraordinary. What we're doing has never been done before as well. You've never had drummers in their, in, in their lockdown situation drumming from their home or drumming from their studio. The whole thing coming cohesively together. And we've just so tried to make this run smoothly. Um, mm -hmm. Phil, uh, Finn, and David, who've been 24 hours in their all media in, in, in basin stuff in the back of their garden, streaming everything out to everybody around the world. Um, you've had Maddis in, in, and Grace and Mel in their studio at the back garden, streaming everything, you know, getting drummers coming there to play as well because they've not had the equipment to actually uh, drum from their home. Um, so it's been absolutely extraordinary. Uh, situation here. 
No, that is absolutely brilliant. Um, Errol, thank you so much. I mean, there's so much more I'd love to ask, but time is actually pressing against us. We have put the website there. Are people able to make a donation for, via the website while watching? Absolutely. If you go to the website, everything is there, even though you can go get, it, get or go on Instagram, etc. But if you go to imaginationband.co.uk, you can get a T-shirt. We are auctioning drumsticks. Drummers are offering so many things. Um, you can see all the, uh, all the other... Sh um, uh, streams from all the other drummers and get to know their profile, see what they've done and how much they're contributing, really get uh, an understanding of the magnitude of what these guys are doing. People have had swollen hands, had, you know, have highs on their hands for drum, drum for 12 hours. Yeah, to a point, it's an impossible task. You know, it takes a lot of tenacity. People giving up their time, being injured as well, playing were at maximum, some great songs. And one of the things I've got to say, each drummer, uh, it's like, when you go there, it's like going to a concert because each drummer is doing a really nice flavor of music. So it's 90, 90 minutes of an, a, a amazing music and performance. It's all like the drummer for, for the first time, the singer's in the background, he's with the band and he's the upfront guy giving it to the people. She can go there and donate to um and uh see you know just checking on everything that's going on there no that is absolutely brilliant errol we will definitely have you back in studio in the future um i love everything about hashtag drum for nhs it is an absolute great sacrifice especially when you talk about the hand swelling you know you picture the time i never pictured the the, the, the impact it has on you guys. So thank you um, for that great sacrifice that you guys are doing. And we will definitely, definitely catch up again in the future. Okay, thank, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure Cheers. talking with you as well. Yes, okay. okay. We'll See you guys. On. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Um, wow, the, the time is absolutely flying by on us here. Um, Pam, would you like to join me back up here? Or are you, are you in hiding? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what an entertainment corner. Absolutely oh, yeah. thumbs up on that one. Absolutely fantastic. I love that. I love that. Drop me for the NHS. I love that. Um, hashtag drum for NHS. Brilliant. Absolutely. Errol Kennedy, you're 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 up there. Great to turn back again. Yeah. We we really have run out of time, Anthony. I just I want know. to um, do you want to do the, the BT Ben TV uh, donation read or do you want oh, to Yes, guys, if you head on over to www.bentelevision.com, um it's one of those things. It's a try and time, as you may appreciate. There are other stations out there, but Ben TV is doing everything it can to maintain on the airwaves, but it's a bit challenging at the moment. I'm, so I'm going slightly off script here and just doing it off my head. But if you head over to the website, it, as much as a pound <laughs> is all we're asking, just to help this, what you are seeing now. Media is doing a fantastic job at the moment, but on the Sky Airways. So for those who don't have that access to the internet, they need to access this show and many other great shows that are out there. So if you can head on over to www.bentelevision.com or .co.uk, just check those out. It's your chance to donate, support, and help this fantastic channel and platform go a lot further. Can I also say while I'm on, on here and wrapping up very quickly, MediaNet, thank you guys very much. Music Media Management, thank you. Um, Flight, Blue Goat, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Urban Delight, thank you. Errol, Imagination, twice. I am so lucky, so before anyone thinks I'm doing a fruit signal there, twice to have Errol. It's an absolute pleasure. I, I'm, I'm flying through because I know time is yeah. against me. Pleasure to you, Ray, designers. Thank you ever so much as well. Um, and thank you to all our guests, all of them. Rudolph Walker taking the time out. It's all good. We'll see them not very, very soon. We want to say, stay safe, stay strong, and stay blessed. See you next week. Yeah. From yeah. and I, we are out. Bye.